Hello and welcome to another episode of Architecture is Easy. Today we're discussing section cuts. 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 So what are section cuts? Section cut is when you take a building and you cut it. You cut it. You chop it. Sometimes in half, not always in half, but you cut it into parts. You could do a transverse section. You could do a longitudinal section, which just means you, you take a really long time to do it. You cut it very slowly. And as soon as you just cannot cut anymore, as soon as you're just completely out of patience, that's your longitudinal cut. The transversal cut is a cut that's in transition from one gender to another. And so you need to just be very um, aware of what you say. Be considerate because the transitional time for that cut, that's the transverse cut. So those are the two types of section cuts that you might be applying to your building. Now a cut is a, um, it's, a it's, it's not something to be worried or feel apprehensive about. It's, it's really, they're, they're love cuts. They're cuts that come from a place of the heart. They're like um, roll over in the morning and give your lover a good morning cut. To your lover's face it's that kind of cut and it won't be something that you need to feel guilty about or that you're going to get in any kind of trouble there's no criminal activity or action that'll be taken upon you for making this this cut of love in fact if you do feel guilty about it you could always go and um experience um, some sort of redemption activity, maybe a confession, or you could go, you could eat a piece of pie. That generally works for a lot of people. Or you could just try to stuff it down with alcohol. That also is an application popular with um, a lot of architects, I would say. So, <clears throat> However you want to pro approach it, you want to come to this cut with a clear mind and a clear heart and a guilt-free conscious because you're doing this in the spirit of something that is going to provide value to you and your project. And so once you have made the cut, once you have successively separated the whole into a series of parts could be multiple various different parts you're going to be able to access these parts on the inside and see the intestinal factors related to this building you're going to be able to see what it ate earlier that day what it drank if it has an ulcer if it has um blood clots, or any other various issues that might be applicable to your concern about the building's long-term health. Additionally, you will also be able to imagine yourself within the cavities of the building. And while you're there, you might want to dig just a little bit deeper as best as you can to see if a root canal is necessary. Therefore, um, we don't want to prolong uh, additional infections within the building while we're already doing the due diligence of getting inside and seeing what's going on. So while you're there, do some general house cleaning. As I record this now, it's springtime. So in the spirit of spring, 
I couldn't hurt to get in there and do some spring cleaning and to really kind of, you know, smarten up the place a bit and make it look good. So you're in your section cut. You're possibly imagining what it might be like to inhabit this potentially grotesque scene that you're looking at. And again, you know, it's something that you'll want to proceed with a little bit of caution because you're in a foreign zone. You're in a space that you've only previously seen from the outside. A, a space that you're probably more familiar and comfortable with. And now that you've sort of transitioned beyond the threshold into this precise cut that you've made, there's going to be obstacles and potential dangers that you're going to need to be aware of. So go slowly, wear protective gear. You're going to wear a mask, gloves, a condom, some rubber shoes, and a watermelon print bicycle helmet. In case you get lost, you can start to hallucinate that the the helmet is an actual watermelon and you, you'll sustain a day or two at least on just tricking yourself into believing that you're eating an actual watermelon. So that's a tip for you. So use that to the best of your ability. Also, while you're in there, before you go in there into your section cut, be sure to advise any friends or family or any important uh, um, business associates that you will be presiding inside this cut for a limited or extended period of time. Therefore, if you do die in there, never to return to the life that you once knew, they'll know to go on with their lives, you know, without worrying about you, without wondering. It'll really just give them an excuse to say, oh, well, we just, you know, don't want to bother with it anyway. So we'll just leave them in there. And additionally, the, the advantage of that sort of secession to your life or ceasing to exist um, is that that allows you to, to use the actual building section as a, a sort of a, a makeshift coffin, if you will, or an urn, if you prefer that analogy. Depending on how you actually met your demise on the inside, it may be more of a a cremation um, dissolved body matter type of result anyway. So you can envision that however you'd like. But that aside, the important thing is to try to survey the elements of what's exposed through this section cut to the best of your ability. Think about the first time you ever saw a naked body. You were probably Maybe the first time you were watching porn or saw a dirty magazine, you know, you were probably, you know, six or seven months old and, and maybe you kind of uh, were out in the neighborhood and found a dirty mag, you know, behind a dumpster and you opened it up and you saw the, the centerfold and you thought, wow, this is really an interesting read. I did not see this on on the suggested reading list of my book club um to to the fault of that belief of that club and i'm and i'm going to take this advantage to to survey this situation so you're going to be presented with um a whole new world of of curvature and surface and aperture um a, 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 a level of fenestration that's really going to be of great interest to you as you get older. And so think of that, the spirit of that moment when you're in these section cuts and try to really take that same level of um, possibly confusion and amazement and adventurous spirit in there with you and just soak it all in, you know, just really, really bring it into your being. And that way, if you do make it out, which, by the way, this is probably a good time or maybe won't overdo to say that 
getting out of a section alive is, is really kind of a 50, 50, um, success rate at this point. So it's probably worth just taking the chance, you know, cause it's, if you're going to get the project right, you gotta, you gotta take some risks. So let's say if you get out, you've gotten out of the cut, you've now experienced this thing, you've taken the notes, you've taken your photos, you've sketched every, every contour. That's an experience that you're going to have with you forever. It's going to be melded into your brain. So when, when, when you die on the outside and they section cut through your head to expose your brain for the autopsy, there's going to be just a little bit of a sort of a, a section right there. Just a, a, a moment, if you will, up in your brain of going into that building section cut and they're going to, they're going to see that. And then that'll be what they show on the slideshow at your memorial. And it'll be dark, but it'll be interesting. And your, your, one of your uncles will be really into it. So, um, so that's, that'll be useful. So aside from that, um, the section cuts are a, a key component of any architectural project. And I hope that this, um, I hope that this ex explanation has in some part helped you get a little further understanding of the application and the joys of section cutting. So until next time, remember that architecture is easy. Just do it. <laughs>